The CPU and GPU are the two most important components when it comes to gaming if you want to achieve high FPS. And if you're working with a tight budget and you want a CPU and GPU combo that will allow you to play smoothly, then this video is going to be for you. I will show you the best CPU and GPU combos on a budget for 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution, explaining to you as well how these CPU and GPU combos perform in different resolutions. That way, if you are new to PCs, you understand the level of performance that you will get if you end up getting one of these combos. All the links to the CPUs and GPUs will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. With the first combo, we have the cheapest one on the list for $308 and this combo features the Ryzen 5 5500 for the CPU and the RX 6600 for the GPU. This is a very good 1080p combo that will allow you to play at 70 plus FPS on average at 1080p resolution high to ultra settings in high demanding titles. Of course, it will also depend on the game and in some cases you may want to turn down the settings to high instead of ultra in order to get those 70 plus FPS on average. But overall, this this combo is, in my opinion, one of the best ones in terms of price performance at 1080p resolution. And if you want to play easy to run titles, you can expect 144 plus FPS on average in these titles. So you can buy a 144 or a 165 hertz monitor or a 165 hertz 1080p monitor. At this price point, you can also consider the Intel Arc A750 for the GPU, which is about 10% faster, so you can expect 80 plus FPS on average on high to ultra settings at 1080p, and you can also buy it at the same price as the 6600, but the thing is that the drivers are not as optimized as the AMD drivers, so if you want to play the latest AAA titles on day one, you may want to get the AMD GPU, but you can consider the A750 from Intel. And if you have more money for 1080p, then I do recommend you going with the RX 7600 for the GPU instead of the RX 6600. This one is $270 and if you buy this GPU with the same CPU, the total price will be around $370, but you will get a performance increase, especially at 1080p resolution, where you will be able to average around 70 FPS. With the 7600, you will be able to average over 88 FPS, which is a noticeable difference, especially considering these are high demanding titles. Moving on to 1440p, if you are on a tight budget, I recommend you buying the i5-12400F for the CPU and the RX 6700XT for the GPU. This CPU and GPU combo will cost you $474 and you can expect 74 FPS on average on high to ultra settings at 1440p on high demanding titles. And if you turn on FSR, which is the upscaler from AMD, you can expect even higher numbers. On easy to run titles, you will be able to play at 144 plus FPS on average at 1440p resolution. And if you have this money and you want to play at 1080p, well, the RX 6700 XT will be able to average over 100 FPS on high demanding titles on high to ultra settings. Amazing combo for 1440p high resolution. And if you have more money, then I do recommend you buying the RX 6800 instead of the 6700 XT for about $70 more. And if you do this upgrade, you can expect to run games at 1440p high to ultra settings at 90 plus FPS on average or even more if you turn on FSR. So about 20 FPS more on average than the 6700 XT. And not only that, but you also get 16 gigs of VRAM, which is going to be useful if you want to play at 4K resolution. Talking about 4K resolution, for $650, you can get a solid 4K combo, which in my opinion, this is a budget combo for 4K, even though it's not cheap. If you want a 4K monitor, then this is one of the cheapest combos that you can get right now for a solid experience. And it's the i5 12400F once again, but this time you get the RX 7800 XT. The 7800 XT will allow you to play at 60 plus FPS on average at 4K resolution high to ultra settings, native resolution. So as I said before, if you turn on FSR, you can expect higher numbers and I highly recommend you turning on FSR, especially on high demanding titles if you want to achieve those 60 plus FPS on average. This combo is also excellent for 1440p resolution, but this is more of a mid-range to high-end 1440p combo rather than a budget one. But anyway, if you have a 1440p monitor and you want to upgrade to 4K down the line and you have around $650 to spend on your CPU and GPU combo, then this one is great and will allow you to play 1440p over 100 FPS 
FPS on average high to ultra settings. Also, if you play easy to run titles at 1440p, you can buy a 240Hz 1440p monitor to take advantage of this system. And if you want to play at 4K, easy to run games, you can expect 144 plus FPS on average in games like CS2, Valorant or Fortnite. And if you have more money to spend for a hundred dollars more, you can get the RX 6950 XT instead of the RX 7800 XT, which the 6950 XT is about 10% faster. And on that test where the 7800 XT was able to average over 60 FPS, 4K high to ultra settings, the 6950 XT was able to average over 70 FPS. Really good performance for gaming, especially if you don't want to go for the higher end cards such as the RX 7900 XT, XTX or RTX 4080 or 4090. But I want to be clear though, even though the CPU and GPU are the two most important components when it comes to your gaming performance, you can have the wrong power supply or the wrong motherboard for example, and your PC will never turn on. So I highly recommend you watching my video on the best complete PC builds for every budget and every resolution, where I go over PCs that are on a tight budget and also PCs that are more high end, you will have that one in the top right of the screen and if you watch that video and you buy one of those systems you make sure that everything is compatible and if you put the entire pc together it's going to work perfect for gaming thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one